Celia Walden, the wife of British broadcaster Piers Morgan, is siding with her husband and his stance on Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. The author and journalist, 45, has taken a swipe at the Duchess of Sussex in a new interview. She has joined in with scolding Meghan Markle, following in the footsteps of her husband Piers Morgan, which led to Piers' exit from Good Morning Britain. Celia Walden has shared her views on Meghan Markle, dubbing the Duchess of Sussex's behavior towards the royal family as crass. Celia revealed in a new interview with The Telegraph that he had asked her to read an apology the management at GMB had drafted for him to sign after he had angered viewers by claiming not to believe Meghan had been suicidal after watching her and Prince Harry's bombshell interview with Oprah Winfrey. She was quite flattered he had asked her to look over it but told Piers that he could not sign the apology the way they had worded it, which led to him walking out on the show and quitting his job instead. Although the remarks led to an on-air exchange of words with Morgan's co-star, his wife told The Telegraph, what he said about that interview being full of inconsistencies and untruths has been proved right in so many ways. Walden did note, however, that she likely wouldn't have handled the on-air confrontation in quite the same way as her husband, telling the outlet that she doesn't believe she would have stormed off stage. Walden also revealed that as both ITV and Ofcom were hit with a barrage of complaints in response to her husband's comments, Morgan asked her to read an apology the ITV bosses at Good Morning Britain drafted for Morgan to sign. Celia also believes that the public in America is also coming round to this view, adding, you can pick up a lot from the chat in the nail salons, and my sources there tell me Harry and Meghan have lost the nail salons. She continued. The queen's just been so amazing recently. And to have this impudent girl, Meghan, behave in such a crass and vulgar way. She added that she believes Americans are also coming to have a negative view of Markel and Harry, explaining, you can pick up a lot from the chat in the nail salons, and my sources there tell me Harry and Meghan have lost the nail salons. Walden said that amid the controversy, she and her family faced numerous threats. While she said she didn't exactly expect a quiet life with Piers, she said she wasn't quite anticipating this. According to Walden, she and her family received proper death threats, like, we're going to come and find you, and police eventually installed a panic button in their London home as a result. Five months after Morgan stormed off the set of Good Morning Britain, and later quit the morning talk show amid fierce backlash to his comments on the royal couple's March interview with Oprah Winfrey. Last night, Piers Morgan hailed his free speech win over the Duchess of Sussex, and insisted he would not be silenced by the Queen of Woke. The Office of Communications, known as OFCOM, said Morgan did not breach the broadcasting code when he said on Good Morning Britain that he did not believe what Meghan said during an interview with Oprah Winfrey. The presenter attracted widespread criticism in March for remarks he made following Meghan and Harry's interview with Oprah Winfrey. Morgan sparked fierce backlash and a record number of complaints to UK media regulator Ofcom after criticizing the couple's bombshell interview, namely Meghan Marco's remarks about her struggles with mental health. Morgan, speaking on GMB the morning after the interview, said he didn't believe a word Markel said when she told Winfrey she experienced suicidal thoughts amid harsh reports from British tabloids and trouble within the royal family. He later said he held concerns about the veracity of her claims, adding, I don't believe what Meghan Marco is generally saying in this interview. Thank you for watching our video. Please support growing channel by subscribe channel and like video hour. And don't forget activate notifications to channel to always get the latest news. If you have any problems with the information in the video, please write a comment below to let us know and answer.